Hi, today I will be going over print orientation in Tinkering Suite to ensure your print comes out perfectly. We have some Tetris blocks today to help show the best print orientation. Let's get started. First with the eye shaped block. This one is fairly easy to print as it has no overhangs and only flat sides. We can print it like this or rotate it at 90 degrees and print on its side. Next is the square shaped block. This one is fairly easy as well. You can print on either sides or make it print face flat. The L shaped block could be more tricky. We would not print it in this orientation because of the huge overhang right here. However, it is possible to print it with support structure in place. But there are other ways to print this. We can rotate it 180 degrees to get rid of the overhang or rotate another 90 degrees to print on the long side or we can just print it flat. Next is the T-shaped block. You wouldn't print it in this orientation with the overhang on the bottom. Nor would you print it in this orientation with overhangs on both sides. If you rotate it 180 degrees, you can get rid of the overhangs and it will print properly or you can print it face flat. Don't get me wrong, you can still print with support in place but it will be more complicated to print. And there will also be a difference in quality as well. Last of all, the Z shaped block. There are overhanging parts no matter how you rotate it. So the best way to print this part is printing it face flat. This sums up the video on print orientation. Thank you for watching. Tinker on.